what is this you may ask well let me tell you these are these these are my notes and poor little stick thingies I'm gonna use this in today's soap so if you are new to my channel welcome to Royal Appleberry I am Kenny the messy soaper and I am so fucking happy you found me I really am welcome welcome so I know first I want to say I do know that I can go and just buy the molds for these but two things I'm really hard head and two I'm really cheap so <laughs> what I end up doing was going on eBay and just buying a big old pack of boba straws I'm just like for bubble tea or boba tea or whatever you know what else smoothies and I think this is like two bucks so here's a funny story about this <laughs> so I ordered two things um I think I told this story already, but anyway, I'm going to tell it again for those of you who didn't hear it. But yeah, I ordered these and um, I ordered a canopy for a craft fair that I have coming up. So, DHL came to my house and I had just left. I missed them by 10 minutes. So, I was really expecting it to be my canopy. But then they came the next day and they actually had me sign for a bag of straws. I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> but anywho, enough about that. So, yeah, what I did was just basically tape up the bottom of these with just some regular old packing tape regular old packing tape and then what I'm gonna do is um, use you can use an exacto or you can use a box cutter or whatever you have on hand make sure I'm in frame and I just kind of pluck the tape off and then I mean you're not wasting the money with this because they're dirt cheap I think I got, like I said, a hundred for two bucks. And, um, like those molds are kind of expensive, especially I don't make this design enough for me that warrants me to buy that mold. I only buy molds if I know that I'm going to use them over and over again. Oh, also, if you have a dowel, you can use that to push them out. See, this one, I didn't even have to cut. I just used a dowel and pushed it right on out. So, um, and this dowel came from Home Depot, if you guys have that, or like just a home improvement store. I think this is like 49 cents, 29 cents, 25 cents, 5 cents. I don't know, but they're not expensive. So, yeah, there. your soap oils and your lye mixes and it emulsifies and you see that creamy like oh just that beautiful creamy texture come up that is like one of my most favorite parts of making soap in the beginning of course I love all the colors and swirls and cuts but this is just I don't know it's just a beautiful beautiful sight so this soap is not going to have a whole lot going on in it um I'm going to do a purple Michael line nope I'm not <laughs> I keep saying that. That's not what I'm doing. I even prepared myself to do one. Uh, nope, I'm not doing one. Or am I? No. Or am I? No, no. <laughs> no, I'm not going to. What I'm going to try to do is a gradient. Um, it just depends on how my soap batter wants to behave. Um, I'm not going to do too much crazy mixing. Ever since I changed my batter, it's, it's not as fluid as it used to be, but, you know, you trade one thing for the other because this soap is super duper creamy and it's an excellently hard bar, which that's what I was looking for. So, sometimes you gotta give one thing to get another. And I'm not saying that's the case for everybody, I'm saying that's the case for me. And now, I'm going to... And my fragrance is not, um, this is all I have left, which is like an ounce and a half, but it's a floral and florals tend to be more fragrant. 
so I'm not concerned about it not being um, fragrant enough because it, it will be and fragrant not fragrant <laughs> that's what I just said if you guys call that <laughs> so anyhow I did add some TD in here just to lighten up my base although my base has this is such a beautiful color like seriously but I line it up anyway and we'll see how this this goes we'll see I don't know I mean you guys know me I don't even really have a real plan for this I didn't really think it out besides using my um, my little circles and this is a time I wish I knew how to use chopsticks yes go ahead and laugh at me because I don't know how to use chopsticks that is my cell phone I'll be back just thinking how I want to do this all right so what I'm gonna do is start off with the bottom being the lightest and then darken it as I go yeah and then let me grab my little dots because I ain't do all that hard work matter of fact I'll take some measurements because these are too short I do know that so yeah that's dumb I didn't even measure these out guys always so unprepared i'll be back i'll tell you guys i am like super unprepared all oh gee see don't be unprepared plan ahead be a planner please because i am not and i'm always <laughs> letting my soul sticking up because i be mucking around sorry about all the noise y'all this paper Woo, i'm the worst in the kind of that i'm gonna try my best to get better i really am because this would have been like the perfect consistency to pour and whoo I tell you, I don't know about me sometimes. I get on my own nerves. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I do. <laughs> All right, so let's get this in here. And I'm just going to pour straight down. Yep, I've let, let this thicken up a little too much. I don't, you know what, guys? We're just going to do a regular old pour. Yep, because, uh, this ain't gonna work the way I want it to. Look at that, look at, look at this. This is terrible. Woo, mm -mm -mm. like I said, sometimes I really do get on my own nerves. And today is one of them days. <laughs> Woo. I can't believe, I thought I was prepared. I don't know what happened, I just don't. This is terrible. All right, don't worry, my table is clean. All right, let me smack this down. And this is what I had intended to do. I don't know how I came up with this wall pour. Right? That was not my original intentions. So let me clean it off. I guess I got too excited. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna take this and poke it down in here and I'm gonna just Push all the way down in there because this one really was supposed to be on the bottom. And let me grab a skewer. And push it over and push it down. And then grab this piece. Mm -mm -mm. Today is just one of them days. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna try to get out some of those bubbles. Mm -hmm. Guess it doesn't matter. I'm gonna take a spoon, and this is Purple Vibrance from Nurture Soap. I'm just gonna add a spoon at a time and lighten, I mean, darking. Darking? I can't even talk. Mm. Darken it up. <laughs> so I'm just gonna hand stir that in, and it did absolutely nothing. Awesome. So, <laughs> so perhaps I should add another spoon. Oh, whatever. Three spoons. Okay. Oh, my God. This smells fantastic. And it is crazy how, like, this is just soaking up this color. Like, don't even look like I put any color in there. But, that's okay. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and add the next one. And I need, well I can use these. That's why I need my clear mold so I can see my placement of these. Exactly where I was putting them. I guess it's okay that I let it set up some because it actually helps me out. Okay, so let's try to turn this. Figure it out. Okay, hopefully I don't drop this bowl because I'm known to do that. And if some of these move around, I'm okay with that. I really don't care. So let me see. Um, where is my my doohickey? I can kind of feel it. Yeah, okay. I'm just pushing it down just a little bit. Yeah, today's uh, video is like a kind of a soap mess, <laughs> a soap disaster because I'm all over the place. So add the next one. And I don't think I need the tweezers. Where in the hell did the other one go? I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Here's to being creative. try my best and if you are just joining my channel like I said I am so food and happy you found me thank you for sticking around this far and don't go nowhere because the cutting is coming up as soon as I'm done with the making excuse me and if you're probably thinking to yourself oh my god this girl is crazy you right <laughs> yep I, I'm something else <laughs> So, but I hope you like me enough to come back over and over again because I would love to have you as part of my stinking awesome crew. That's what my subscribers are called. My back. <laughs> okay, so bang this down. Ooh, that smells fantastic. Okay, and then I'm just going to pour all of this in here. Go ahead and scrape that out. Yep, today's soap disaster was sponsored by Royal Appleberry. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm just, I cannot believe how unprepared I am. I'm normally unprepared, but today is just a bit ridiculous. You know what I mean? So this is my last row and then of course I'm going to have to wait until it sets up and then we'll decorate the top and all of that fun stuff. So I can just pour that. I don't need to spoon it on. Don't really see it going anywhere. That looks like blueberry yogurt. <laughs> That's funny. So pretty. Okay and then I'll give this one last smack down and then I'm going to bring you guys back once it's set up enough for me to texture it. It's just amazing how these florals are really well behaved. So, happy about that. Okay, I spared you guys the part of me fighting to get all this to fit in the mold. <laughs> so, hopefully it is ready to be textured. I think, I think it is. Yep, and I don't have on gloves. Don't do as I do. Okay, cats, don't do it. All right, um, 
Let me see. I need a piece of paper towel. Probably should have put my glove back on, but not gonna do it. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes. And then the thing is, I did um resize my batch. And it's still big. <laughs> so I don't even know how I end up for all those years getting all of that soap in the mold before I re resize it. That's crazy times. Okay. So just do something quick. All right, so now I'm gonna leave that just like that and get a piece of paper towel and clean off those sides. Try not to touch it because I don't wanna have to redo it. Okay, there we go. There we go, there we go. And what I did was with the, rem the remainder of um, the little circles that I had, my embeds, I just chopped it up. So I decided I'm gonna use it for the top this is a very interesting purple, that's for sure. Um, I am just extra messy today. Okay, good enough. Now, then I have all of that sorted out. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, now I'm going to take off my gloves, because I did put them back on safety first. And, like I said, I just kind of took my cutter and just really chop these puppies up. What is that? You don't know. Okay, so I'm just gonna go right down the middle. And they're not gonna show up like too bright because um, they're very pale. Ah, pretty. And then I am still gonna do my purple um, sea salt just for a pop of color. I don't know what I mean, jelly beans. Don't do this. Don't ever follow what Kenny does when she's not doing what's right, okay? All right. So pretty. Love it. So add a little bit more. And then get my purple on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. Or should I say get my sea salt on? It's already purple. Alright, so I'm going to take that and just kind of give it another lister. Make sure everything's mixed in real good. And then I'm going to take these two fingers and grab some. And then give it a little bit of a sprinkle. You know what? I think I'm going to try to go down the sides because it's really just sitting on the top of the little bits I chopped up. And that's not really doing nothing now, is it? I hope this turns out really cool looking. <laughs> you guys know I've been trying to get this to work for apples. So hopefully. Hopefully. I did it. Alright. So that's it. See you for the cutting. Oh, so I am back with the cutting. Um, I have just been really, really excited to cut this one. Um, I unmolded it a few hours ago. But I left it alone. Because I just wanted to be a good patient girl. And, um, so, oops, the fingernail. But I see that I put this a little too close to the wall, but, ooh, wow. Um, not much you can do about that. And I think I did the same on the other side. My table was quite crowded with soaps. Because I did some remakes. And, um, they are taking up all my space. But, yeah, I'm super excited to see what this is going to be like. What in the hell of it? <laughs> Why did that one turn sideways? That's so annoying. <laughs> but it's kind of cute. Okay, convince yourself it's kind of cute. That's weird. <laughs> that is so weird that it flipped up, right? Oh, well. Hopefully that's just the only one. Because that really wasn't the look I was going for. Oh, how cute. Yeah, the, they did really move. <laughs> the 
that is still cute. I don't even know what this is supposed to be over there. <laughs> but the eye, ah, you can see through them. That's okay. So that was like that weird one. I don't know what happened on this side. But this is really, really cute. I need to clean my soap cutter a little bit better. I cut a black soap. And now I'm getting transfer. And the color gradient is very, very yeah. I've seen better. <laughs> Let's just go with that. <laughs> but um, it's cute though. It is cute. Let me clean my cutter. Just give me a second. So I don't know if you guys noticed this, but I've uh, come out of the Stone Age, <laughs> and I got myself um, a really nice editing program. So I'm sure you guys notice that my video is a little bit more um what's the word uh there's more to it more effects and things like that but i really do like making videos like that sometimes they are time consuming but they're fun to make and it took me a little about two hours to uh, learn the program i do like it fast forward function by the time you guys see this video i should have figured out what's going on with that because whenever i fast forward it ends up being really choppy and i don't really like that too much So I don't know if you guys noticed that like <laughs> I kept pausing while I was talking. I don't even remember what I was talking about, but um yeah. So a couple of years ago. Nope, it wasn't even a couple of years ago. It was like yeah, it was about two years ago. Somebody tried to break in my house. <laughs> and um I came downstairs to film this video that I realized I left my patio door. Um, the glass open and unlocked so the cats can get some air and I'm just like wait I can't be cool with being down here I can't hear because Gabe is at work so <laughs> and there is no such thing in this day and age as a safe neighborhood anymore <laughs> I would like to think that I live in a very safe neighborhood but you can never ever ever trust individuals I swear and then here's a funny story well it's not funny thank God he got caught um I think we have been living here for maybe six months and Gabe is from the age of leaving doors unlocked while you sleep. I'm like, dude, I'm not. So <laughs> uh, he would always leave the door unlocked while I was in the basement. And I'm like, stop doing that, dude, you know? And so it was just an article that came out around that time about some guy that actually was going in people's houses during the day. And he robbed somebody. He robbed somebody and then he broke into another person's car, but they did catch him. And I'm just like, yeah, so I can't be cool with being down here. And I was going to try to stick it out. I'm like, oh, I can't. My nerves are just all over the place. But yeah, so I tell my kitties, I will open that door when I come back up. <laughs> but anywho, so this would have been exactly what I wanted if that one little rogue ball didn't just like shift over. <laughs> but um, it's cute. I'm going to try to get a thumbnail with the light showing through. I just got to find a light that's small enough where it won't show um in the picture behind the soap to illuminate it but this is super cute i just love how you can see through these i've been wanting a soap that you can see through forever so i finally got it i don't know how well i'm like, I'm like why is it so gloomy down here i got a light off but I got two lights off. Oh, I got three lights off. What in the world? But anyway, um, I don't know how well or if you guys can see through that bar if the camera is going to pick it up. But you can actually see through them. They are cute. They are really cute. I just wish that they didn't shift as much. So then I guess that one decided to get back in line. <laughs> and then I went over to from this one. So yeah, clear mode did not help me at all. Because once I put them in there, they just started moving around. Didn't know those little boogers like to dance around while you're trying to make a soap. But anywho, I'm going to do it again in yellow because I was supposed to originally do it in yellow. And at the last minute, I changed my mind. So we will be doing that. And I think I'm not going to do the ombre next time. I'm just going to do one solid color for the yellow. But yeah, these are cute. They are. They smell fan fantastic. They really, really do. And I could have gone a little bit darker with the colors. I think that's where the gradient. I can see it. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but I can. Um, but it's very, very, very pastel. 
And I forgot to put a napkin under here. Whenever, just uh, a piece of advice for those of you who got a soap cutter. And if you use botanicals or salts or whatever, I think I said this in a previous video. Just lay a napkin underneath your cutter and it'll catch all of this stuff. And that way, you can just pluck it up and go about your life. Thank you for sticking around and watching the cutting of this video. Oh, that is stellar. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I'm holding it up to the light. Okay, I should probably show you guys. But uh, <laughs> that is a really cute. So happy. Oh, and also, I didn't tell you guys. I forgot. Um, if you, the dowel is a better way to get the soap out just because you get to keep the straws. The straws are reusable after you pop the soap out because there's no damage to them. So there, you're saving money, man. Saving money. I'm all about that. So just a little FYI. Today is a beauteous day. It's like 80 degrees out. And today is April 30th. And these will be ready May 30th. Um, yeah, I went outside and cleaned my car. Okay, so here's another how-to. <laughs> and then, I don't know, I just, can somebody explain what's going on with that one? <laughs> what is that? But anyway, um, <laughs> I guess he didn't want to be a circle anymore. But, um, yeah, so, I learned that, okay, if you live in, I know I'm all over the place, guys, please forgive me for just all the choppiness while I'm talking. I don't know why I'm doing that, but anywho, if you live in a state where it snows a lot, you know that when you get in your car in the winter, you're going to get salt stains on your carpeting in your car. It's just going to happen. And a lot of you probably already know how to get the stains out. Um... And for those of you who don't, I'm going to tell you. So what you do is take some white vinegar or apple cider vinegar and water, 50-50. Mix it, put it in a bottle, spray it. Well, first you want to vacuum, make sure all the little dry, dusty bits of salt is already up. And then you want to spray the spot, let it sit for about two, three minutes. And then take a scrub brush and scrub it. And you'll see the salt particles starting to flake apart. And then... Um, do it again. Spray it again with the vinegar water mixture and it just vanishes. Now, don't let it dry in the sun because I did two mats that I let dry in the sun because I was trying to hurry up and get them back in my car. And it's like the salt kind of wanted to stick around a little bit, but the ones that I let dry in the shade, salt rings didn't come back. So I ended up redoing the ones that I had left in the sun. Why? I don't know, but it did come out and especially it's good for those of you who have leased cars. Got to turn that puppy in and you don't want nobody saying, hey, you owe us for this. So, yeah. So, there you go. And now you know. I like to share little tidbits of things that I know that can be very, very helpful. Okay. But I'm definitely keeping one of these bars for myself because it smells super duper. Let me tell you. Super a duper. I love this. It's so feminine. Oh, it's so feminine. <sighs> Every time I look at this one little rogue circle, it's hilarious to me. But I really wish that it hadn't gone rogue on me. <laughs> because it's like it fell back down again. What is, what on earth? So I guess it's too, I, I don't know. Let's go, I don't know how that happened. This is the opposite end. So some of them in the middle were lined up. Yep, so let's just go with, um, it's odd, <laughs> but cute. I just can't get over how cool that looks under the light. I'm very, very happy with its outcome. I am. Okay, so lost piss. Hopefully it's thick enough for me to cut it back off of because I want you to be able to see through it. Yes, yes, yes. Hopefully you like this cell making video. If you do, please do hit that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. Oh, that one's so cute. You can see the gradient in it really well. What happened? Anyway, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. I really love the fact that you guys come to my channel. I do. And thank you. For those of you who are always there, you guys are awesome sauce. You know it. If you want to become a part of my sack, which is my stinking awesome crew, all you got to do is hit that and just like that, you're a part of the Stinging Awesome crew. So what happened to that one? Who knows? But anyway, uh, <laughs> this is hilarious. It's hilarious. But yeah, um, and be sure to click that notific notification bell. 
I just thought of <laughs> a poll question. Yeah, I do want to ask because I, I would love to know. Um, are there still some of you who leave your doors unlocked, uh, whether it be during the day or at night or whatever? Um, yeah, so that's today's poll question. If you want to join that poll, all you got to do is click that I in the upper right hand corner and um, answer the question. So yes, no, and are you crazy? No. <laughs> Um, because I would be of the sort of are you crazy and I don't knock anybody for what they do I'm just very a paranoid person <laughs> just because I think like yeah and I did totally pop back in this video but after somebody tries to break in your house honey let me tell you your outlooks change <laughs> so all right I'm actually really leaving this time bye